All right, so this is gonna be part two of the Rustler build. I just got the gear in right now. Um, yeah, the body has been in my area for like over a day now, and I wasn't even paying attention whenever I was shipping that thing, and I'm really pissed because it's been so late. It's a week late now, so just pay attention whenever you're getting a bunch of stuff. Make sure you get good shipping. Anyway, let's get on with this thing now. All right, so pretty much all I have to do now to get it to actually run is put in the gear, the pinion gear, and mount these, uh, this switch, obviously, put in the motor, probably gonna calibrate it, I don't know, and then find out maybe what this is. I might clip this off, and I'm probably just gonna like bind it all up and like shove it somewhere. I don't know. Um, Let's get on with it, shall we? All right, so I just got the gear on. Um, that mesh wasn't as easy as I was expecting it to be. Um, it likes to move around a lot, especially when you're tightening that up. So now that that's done, we can go ahead and put back on the, uh, the gear cover and make it look nice and neat. And now I'm gonna do this all off camera. I'm gonna plug in the motor wires, get my transmitter and make it go. Alright, so A goes in A, B into B, and C into C. I know it, I know I um I said I wouldn't do this on camera, but whatever. Okay, so now that these are in, I'm gonna go get a battery. Alright, let's see um where it's at. I have no oh shit, this is a... Uh, Deans. Okay, now we got the XT90. So the 2SZ, so um, pretty good battery is like pretty much the only ones I use. Um, let's kind of see where this thing is at. Put it in. Got the radio rustler. And let's go ahead and power it up. All right, so um, I'm gonna need to put this on some tires. All right, let's go ahead and uh, spin the wheels. Um, okay, that's weird. Um, Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't want to go. Do I have to wait? There we go. I think that gear mesh might be a little too tight. Might have to readjust that. Alright, so now that I'm seeing um, how the wheels are spinning, I'm kind of already noticing this joint right here, um, this out drive. It seems to already have a drag break in. This one over here, this thing is already bent, so that's... It's not really too bad. Um, sorry, I'm not getting all this in frame. I'm just trying to see stuff for myself here. But this one in the rear kind of has some play, but that might just be because it's aftermarket. But. All right, so it's definitely gonna need some calibration because I'm not even doing that. I'm gonna look up 
how to calibrate this thing because I suck when it comes to calibration on Hobby Wings, so yeah. Okay, so I just got done calibrating it. It really wasn't as hard as I thought it was. Um, just had to, I set neutral first, then the full throttle, and then the full brake. Um, I also had to do a little bit of adjusting on my radio because it was off a little bit, but um, it's pretty much ready to go. All I really need to do now is get the body, obviously, which I'm still really angry about. Um, mount this switch and then do something with this. Probably just, I'm probably just gonna wrap this up around like the, one of the motor wires and just zip tie it or something. It's probably what I'm gonna do because it's probably like the safest thing to do, honestly. So, yeah. And then for the power switch, I'm probably going to like wrap it around the battery uh, wire right here. That's what I do on all my other hobby wings because the power switch is really, really long. Um, so, yeah, and then I'm probably just gonna like put it like right here or something. I don't know. The surface isn't really that flat, so that's gonna be a little bit of a tricky one. But, oh well, it's all cool. I'll get it running and then I'll show you guys. And we are finished. As y'all can see, I kind of just jankily put that um, zip tie on there because I really didn't know what else to do with that. And for the power switch, obviously, I kind of put it in the only spot that was like kind of stickable because it doesn't have enough range or slack to go over here and doesn't have any slack to go here and it doesn't have a flat surface to go on the receiver box. And it really can't stick anywhere on that hex pattern, so I just put it right there and we're good. And so let's go drive. Um, filming and driving ain't easy. Um, just kind of toned down the brakes a little bit, so um, yeah, we'll try to. Cause they are pretty strong, actually. So that's gonna wrap it up here, y'all. Um, overall thoughts for right now, I guess, real first impressions. Um, it drives really well. Um, it doesn't handle as well as I thought it would be, or as good as I thought, but um, um, it's really fun. Um, I'm just really missing the body. Hopefully that can get in like tomorrow or something, but I'll probably, it'll be interesting to see how this thing does on the track, but yeah, um, I'll update you guys if I do anything new to it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.